Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Matthew Taman here. I am so excited to have you join me in this incredible, incredible uh, training today. I've received so many emails, um, texts from people who are like, Matthew, I can't wait for this. I'm super excited. And even for those that are going to watch this later on, uh, my goal for today is that I want to help you to build a solid website. Now, if you haven't shared this, please make sure that you first you share this link. You tell someone uh, about this because this is training that is for beginners. I get so many emails from beginners that they've never built websites before. And they're saying, Matthew, I've never created a website before. It seems super hard. What do I do? Where do I go? How do I do this? Uh, and let's face it. You need a website today. You know, with all the apps, you know, crazy that's going on, you need a website. So if you're an entrepreneur, this let me explain something to you. If you are an entrepreneur that's looking to start uh, a new e-commerce website and you're stuck with building a website or maybe you're an agency and you want to build websites or e-commerce sites for your client, the training today is going to show you uh, to get you started. Now, there's a lot more to cover. I do, you know, this like a beginner, half intermediate, and then of course, advanced training that I do. But the goal today is that I wanna show you that you can build it from, you know, from the ground up, right? And it's not gonna take you forever to get it done. So I'm really excited. So make sure that you're sharing this. You're sharing this video with a friend, share with a colleague, uh, share with someone that wants to get this site up and going. OK, so make sure you do that. And for those that are watching all over the world, once again, welcome. I'm super excited to be here you know, with you. Uh, but before we get started, uh, we're going to be using Joomla, of course, to build a website. And Joomla is a content management system uh, that allows anyone to build websites from scratch without having to be a coder. So let me just share something here with you. Uh, it allows anyone, let me get this here connected. So you can build your website. Um, you don't have to be a coder. Just plug this right here. You don't have to be a coder in order for you to know how to, how to do this. So, let me show this here. So you go to Joomla.org. And when I found out about this, I was like, wow, super excited because I'm like, you know, this is a free software that I can be able to use. I can build my website. I don't have to pay anything for it. I can get started. It's really incredible. So you definitely want to check out Joomla.org and just learn about it. It's not a project that is one person is not doing this. It's a whole organization behind this. And they're doing a really excellent job with new features uh, that allows you as a web designer, as a business owner, to control how your website functions and all the features that you want. Again, Joomla is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. Let me say it again. You don't pay a monthly fee, a yearly fee. You just, once you download it, this is what happened when I started in 2006. I heard about Joomla, but I didn't start until 2007. I was looking for a way to, to sell my book. I written a book, you know, some other things that I was doing. I, I want to sell it, but I couldn't I didn't have the, the funds to hire an expensive designer or developer to build a website for me. So I said, you know what? Let me find a way to do this myself. And I'm so glad that I did. And I went through the school of hard knocks. One of the things that people don't understand about website is that if you don't have someone the right train and the right mentor, it can take you a minimum of two to three years to kind of try to figure things out. At that point, you would have already spent so much money, lost and wasted so much time. So part of what I want to do today is I want to make sure that you are getting the training that you need, that you are getting not just the training, but you understand uh, how this thing works. So if you're stuck and you're trying to figure out how to go about your site, you know, a content management system is a great platform because it allows you to manage your content. You don't have to be a coder. You don't have to write a single line of code. And that is what attracted me to Joomla because, you know, when I started when I was about 17 building websites, I had to learn like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, all those things, right? And I realized that it was taking me forever to build a website. 
it was taking me a long time. So when I came across this, um, I, I'm like, wow, this is incredible. This is amazing. And I don't have to pay a monthly fee for it. I don't have to do any, you know, I can just download it and I can build a website just like that. It saved me time and it saved me money. So again, you go to Joomla.org. It is a top quality, it's safe, it's secure, gives you a lot of features. Um, and it's also easy for you to manage. I wanted to kind of get that groundwork out of the way so people understand exactly what we're going to be doing here. Uh, and then another thing, too, is we're going to be using this extension from this company called Balboa. And I believe they're located in, in the Ukraine. Um, they have an extension called Gridbox. So Gridbox is one of my go to softwares that I use when I'm building websites. And one of the reasons for that is it's an all in one software. You know, you don't have to buy like six, seven different plugins to do different things. And that saves you so much time. One of the key things you have to understand when you're building a website or run online businesses, you want to save as much time as possible. So I want you to go to their website and grid box and I want you already pay for it. I'm using the pro version by the way, but I want you to go and I want you to download and buy the pro version of it. The pro version gives you a lot more features and flexibility that you're going to need. Okay, so before we continue on, I want you to make sure that you go to uh, balboa.com, right? Let me sure. So this are their packages. Now, typically, and, and I really want us to support our developers. Let me say this. I want us to support our developers. These guys are doing an amazing job. Their support is, is next to none. When you have questions, when you get stuck, when you need help, they get back to you so quick. And I look at the package that they're offering. The reason I'm showing this because if you wanted to hire a designer to do this, you're going to end up spending a whole lot more than $87 for one site license. You don't even have, you don't even have to get three, four or, or more, even if you want to start with just one. So go on their website now and just buy this. Right. You want to get the bundle because the bundle gives you they produce three different apps, the form and the gallery. So when you get that bundle, it allows you to do that, because as you build in your website, there are so many things that you're going to realize that, wow, you know, I want to add this. I want to do that. But when you buy something like this, you have everything in one that you need. So go to Balboa.com again. Before we get started, you can purchase that. And so if you wanted to follow along, if you're ready to have it, that is even um, that's even great. And another thing I want to go over is uh, it's web hosting. Before you launch any type of site online, you need a server. A server just allows you to upload your data, your content, so that people from all over the world can get access to it. So you need a web hosting companies. Now, I'm going to be creating another video later on or give you a list of web hosting companies that I recommend, you know, uh, for you to use for your web hosting. But a web hosting is very key because this is where all the files of your website is going to be stored. So when people want to, when you give them your URL, your website number, your domain name, that is where they're going to go to find it. So we're going to be building this here with a C panel. A C panel is just one of the ways or one of the service that's used to upload files, to manage domains. But I'm not going to cover all the details about a C panel. I just want to give you guys an understanding before we get started so people know exactly uh, what's going on and how that's going um, to work. So you definitely want to make sure uh, that you have web hosting. So if you haven't shared this already, please make sure that you share this with someone uh, that wants to build a website to someone that's looking to get online. And we're about to get ready with the training now. But I want it to be very clear. OK. Um, and I, I get so many emails from me and I just want to touch on this quickly. So many people right now are losing their jobs. Right. You see all over layoffs everywhere. Well, you need to learn a skill set that can help you to make sure that it's re uh, recession proof or depression proof. So learning how to build this for yourself, for other clients, you can begin to charge people to create websites for them. I have so many students that reached out to me and said, Matthew, you know, I took your course and now I've started my own web design company or an agency. If you have a small team. 
a smart team. You don't need a team of 30, 40, 50 people anymore. With technology today, you can have a team of three people, even two. You can have your tech person learn how to do this and they can do this for your company. People don't understand this. You don't need a large team today to have a quality website. So you don't have to worry about hiring six, seven people. Just train one or two people and they will do all your website work for you. This, this is going to save you so much time. So for the agency that have reached out to me, you can assign someone in your company to do websites and they can learn how to build it with Joomla from scratch and they can you know do landing pages they can do e-commerce there are so many different types of websites that you can build with this so again make sure you're, you're sharing this link and you're liking so we can get this out there to more people a lot of businesses right now a lot of people right now are, are struggling right but i want to help you to make sure that the next 10 years from now you have a skill set that you're always going to use it is always going to be in demand all right so i wanted to get that out the way you know i also do live training as well so let's get this started so once you've gotten grid box here let's get back here so once you've gotten grid box and we're now ready to go through the steps okay i'm going to walk you through the first one of the steps that you need to take so i've already set up my server for the sake of time so i'm not going to show you you know how to set up a server and how to you know e like how to do all this uh web hosting stuff i have another course that i'm working on for that so once you've done that right you want to log into your cpanel if you don't have your details you can contact your web hosting company and say listen i need my control panel to be able to access the back end of my website all of them have something like this so they're going to give it to you and then once you're on your cpanel once you what you want to do now is you want to go where it says scripts your back end may not look exactly like this, but you're going to see something like this, right? So you want to click on where it says Joomla. So we're gonna install Joomla. So you see this right here now, and now typically with Joomla, you would, you know, upload the file somewhere, but because, let me go back here, but because Gridbox, Gridbox allows you, it, it's a, uh, a framework in itself. One of the features about Gridbox that really makes it different is that it's a framework in itself. Typically, you download, install Joomla, then you install, you know, the, the another framework and then another software. So many things they cut out through all that for you. All you'd have to do is just install Joomla and Gridbox, and everything is pretty much set to go. So now let's go back here with the installation of Joomla. So once you've done that, you're gonna get something that looks like this. If your screen looks like this, that's great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. The goal of it is you want to make sure that you can install Joomla wherever you're using it from. So you go to click on install now. Okay. Now you have options here. So you can install Joomla on your main domain or you can install it on the subfolder. For the sake of this course, I'm going to just install it on the subfolder. So we can call this one uh, Gridbox. Okay, so call it Gridbox. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but call it Gridbox for the sake of this. And then for the site name, e-commerce website, description, e-commerce website. You can always change all this stuff later on. All right, and then this is where you put in the admin. This is the details that you're going to need for the back end in order to log in. So whatever username and password that you use here, you want to make sure that you remember that. Okay, so for now, I'm going to create this admin and I'm going to give it a, a password. Now, you have to make sure your password is a certain uh, number of characters. So I'm just going to create something here that is strong enough and then for the uh, the real name you can change this later on for the email you can always change that later on so all the details seems to be great make sure it's set now for this here you see the Joomla version this is the latest one two 4.25 so you want to make sure you install that okay and then you click and click quick install you just click the bottom here if you want to send the email inst installation details somewhere let's say you're doing this for a client and you want to send this detail so that the client have their login, you can just put in the client's email address right here. And then you click install. And then I'm just gonna, I don't wanna save that yet. So you give it a few minutes. It's, it doesn't take too long for this to get set up. As you can see, it's going pretty fast. 
and then boom, it shot up just like that. So once you've successfully installed Joomla, you're gonna notice now here that you have, um, this is where it's going to be located and this is the administrative URL. So let's click on the admin. So this should log you in. So congratulations, you've successfully install Joomla. That is how simple it is. Okay. That's how you see how simple that is. That is so simple. And a lot of people are like, man, this is so complicated. It's not that complicated. It is not complicated. So I want to make sure that listen, share this link right now with someone share with an entrepreneur that's looking to build a website, looking to get online e-commerce at the end of this training, you're going to be able to get have enough knowledge to get your website up and going. I'm so excited for you. I am super excited because I know this is going to change your business. Okay, so let's get back. Make sure you're sharing, you're liking. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the share up. Uh, because again, I'm doing this because I, I believe in you. So let's get back here now. And I want to show you we've successfully completed the installation. So now this is the back end. The first thing you will notice that this is the back end of Joomla. This message that you're seeing here, um, don't worry about this for now, okay? Don't worry about this for right now. So you want to check on the front end of your website. So you want to go to e-commerce, whatever name that you called it, you click on it right here. This is the default Joomla template. Okay, but we, this is not what we're using to create the site, okay? This is the default. Now, the back end of Joomla, let me give you a quick crash course. It's very simple. It's very easy. These are all the different features that you have access to. So if you want to create articles, you want to add more users, you can do that. One of the things that I love about a content management system is that it gives you the ability for you to designate who can see certain contents and what they can or cannot do. So you can choose who see what pages, who see what information. If you want to create like a, a membership site where you can restrict access to a certain group of people and only give access to those that have paid for subscription. And then all your media, your plugins. So I'm not going to go too much into all the details about this because I have other courses that I've done so uh, for Joomla 4. And now we want to go over to where it says system. Before, let me say this. Whenever you have a content management system, be careful who you give your login to, because when you go, let me say go to Global Configurance, for example, someone can be able to come in and destroy your site if they have access to as the super admin. The super admin is the person to have complete access to everything. They can do whatever you can. So you want to make sure that you don't give just anybody access because they can delete stuff. They can erase stuff and your site is going to be you know messed up and we don't want that. We don't want that. So now that we've done that, let's go over to extensions. OK, we want to install the grid box. Now, I've already downloaded. You can see right here. I'm using the grid box, the package grid box pro. Again, go to Balboa.com and you want to purchase this go. You want to purchase this extension if you haven't already done so. It's very affordable. Trust me. This is $87 a year, not a month, not a week, not every other week, not every other. You pay this for one year. You, if nothing else, just try it out for a year. If it doesn't work out for you, you've lost $87. I mean, come on, guys. Let's do this. Go there right now and just grab this so you can follow along. Okay, so once you've gotten that installed, we're at the back end of Joomla. And again, if I'm going uh, a faster pace, um, that's uh, because I just I, I just want to be time conscious. You know, um, I have other extensive training that I do that go through a lot of details, but I want to get you guys up and going. So from here, you see upload package file. Um, I'm just going to drag grip box and just drop it right there just to install it. And just like that, grid box has been installed on the site. So now I get this message, installation package was, was successful. So this is successful. Now, when you go to the front and I refresh this, boom, you see right there, grid box has been installed. And that now it's time for us to go and start to get some of this work that needs to be done. So let's go back here now. And we're going to we're going to go to. Um, matter of fact, let's let's install another extension again. OK, when you purchase the package from me, since the package that I have, I actually have this package or the the through license package. So I'm going to install another extension called the forms. Now, forms here, let me show you forms allow you to to uh, create contact us 
um, employment forms or questionnaire or whatever information that you want to get from your clients. The forms extension is exceptional. You can collect payments on there. Uh, you can, you know, you can be able to, to integrate it as you can see right here. Forms are really great because when you have a form, uh, you want to be able to have people contact you so they can contact form. You can set an automatic response back to them once they email you um, and things like that. So I've already downloaded this one here. So now let me go on the back end. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drop it right there. So just like that. I have installed both extensions. Now, where do you find these extensions once you've downloaded them, right? Or, or uploaded them. So once you've installed them, you see components, you click on this drop down. Components, this is where all the extensions that you download. And extensions, by the way, these are just things that gives you more feature, gives you more things to do, like more um, stuff on your website. Uh, Gridbox is an extension that allows you to create an e-commerce website or to be able to create forms and other things. Now, the core of Joomla has that, but extensions gives you a lot more flexibility, even in terms of design, control, integration, which are all things that you want to be mindful of whenever you're you're building a website. So let's go over now to Gridbox. When you go to Gridbox. It looks very plain and it looks very bare. So I'm just going, it looks simple, right? There's nothing here that you can be able to see. It's just like, you know, everything is just plain and simple. So because I have the pro version, I have to um, log in to be able to, you know, to get the, the features that comes with the pro version. So you notice here, it's asking me to activate the license. So you need to activate the license if you want to get all the pro features. Now, they do offer a free version of this, but I tell people, listen, if you're serious about your business, the free version is just for you to just test it out. If you're really serious about your business, you need to stop being cheap and just buy the pro version. Get the pro version. So I am going to um, activate this now. So I'm doing this. so I can be able to use it on the site. So make sure, so I'm gonna go right here and Okay, so now I had to get off the screen because I didn't want to show you guys my login. I don't need nobody going to using my using my login to so say I gave you access to it. I didn't give you access to my login. Okay, so once we've done that now, um, you can be able to, when you click here, your license has been is active and you get the latest version. So when you have the latest version of it, that's really great. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the pages. You click here where it says pages. Now you're gonna notice that you have apps. So Gridbox gives you uh, several different types of apps that I'm not gonna cover. We're gonna cover primarily just the e-commerce app today to get you up and going. So you wanna click on this uh, icon right here, add new. When you click on that, you see a lot of different things here. So we wanna activate the store app because this is what allows you to be able to sell uh, products on there. This is what at the e-commerce functionality. We're going to add the store app, uh, the comment app, and the reviews app. So let's just start it first. Let's just add the store app. So you click on that. And just like that, when you add the store app, it automatically add the reviews. Now the reviews allow people to leave a review about your product. And you know, which is really great because reviews are, are really, really awesome. So we've done that now. Okay, so let's go back to the front end here. Nothing still has really happened, right? Everything still looks simple. So let's go over now back here. We'll go to pages. So once we have the pages, this is where you can start to build your pages. But before you build your pages, I want us to be able to build um, the type of store that we want to create the, the, at the products. So next thing is we want to be able to add the products, okay?
But before we're at the products, let me just go over this here. I'm just kind of go over my notes. I'm trying to keep this as simple as, as possible. So uh, because there's so many things to cover, my goal is I want to keep this very simple for you. But before we do that, I want you to go over to um, this shop icon here. Let's go to product. Um, let's go to settings here. Let's go to settings. When you go to settings, this is where you get to change information. You get to add certain things. You can add your store name right here. You can add your business name. You can add your contact information in this section here. You can have a minimum order amount. So if you want for people to, you know, the minimum order to be, let's say $50, what that means is that no one can order uh, can complete an order unless they meet this minimum order. So if someone orders something and it's, you know, like, let's say $10, then they won't be able to check out. So this is something where if you want to set an order minimum, maybe your product start off at like, you know, $10 or $20 or whatever, uh, you can set the order minimum here. And then you can go through the login. So with the login, these are the several things that you can enable or you can disable. You can enable the login, the password reminder, all here, there's the things that you can be able to do. So I'm not going to touch any one of these right now. And then you can also activate the wish list here. So let's leave this. Let's go with to email notifications. Do you want to send notifications, you know, uh, the, to the customer or to confirmation or to complete review? So these are the notifications that you want your customers to be able to, to get. So if someone placed an order on your website, these are the, comp, you know, the notification that you want them to get. You can choose here. You can also customize uh, these here and then go to currency. You can have multiple currencies. So right now, set to the euro. If you wanted to uh, add a new one, you click here. You can put in like the USD, right? You can put in the code. And then you can put in the, the sign right here. And add. Okay, so now we have the US dollar and we have the, the euro. Euro. So if for those that have sites where you want to sell in different currencies, you can add your currency here and uh, the system can be able to take care of that. So let's switch over here. Now this, the US dollar, this is the default currency. Now let's go over here to um, the tax. If you're selling your product and you want tax inclusive, meaning that if your product is $20, you don't want to charge taxes on top of that, which I recommend if you're going to start when you're starting out, I would recommend that you include taxes because when you have to pay your taxes, you, you have to do the books anyway. Right. So if your product is twenty dollars, just said, make sure that include taxes as well. When you're starting, that simplifies things a lot. Trust me, you can have exclusive tax. Then if you do tax exclusive, you have to add in here the tax rate that you want to put in for your um your store. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as tax inclusive. And then you have your order statuses. So people can see the order has been canceled, completed. Is it new as processing or is it refund? So when someone places an order, you can choose which one of these here that you can assign that particular um, order to. So let's click on save. So we've changed the store settings here and that's been saved. So another thing I want to take a look at is the payment method. So let's go to payment method. You want to be able to set up a payment method for your store. Now, this is something that you would have to do outside. Um, whether you want to use uh, PayPal or Stripe, so you click on this button here, add new item. These are all the different payment methods that you have access to. So if you have manual to check out authorize.net, uh, .pay, cloud pay, you would just click here for the method that you want to go with to add it. And that's been successfully added. And then now you click on there. This is where you would have to go to that website to get the API key and to get the secret key. This is the information that's going to be needed in order for someone to process order on your website. So um, if you haven't already set up an, an account where people can be able to uh, accept payments, you can set things up with your bank first. So once you set things up with your bank, right, 
then you're going to set up a separate account with whether it's PayPal or Stripe or Authorize.net, any payment gateway provider. So that's going to allow you to be able to get payments. People can pay you with a credit card as long as they have a Visa, MasterCard, American Express and whatever cards out there, they can make a payment on your website through there. You want to make sure that you get that done. And then once you set that up, now you are ready to connect. So what happened is payment is going to come on your website and then it's going to go through the back end. So if you're using PayPal, for example, or Stripe, uh, which I recommend Stripe, is the money is going to go to your Stripe account. From your Stripe account, you're going to connect your Stripe account to your bank account and then you transfer funds that way. Now, I'm not going to go through that here because, um, you know, some of the technical stuff to go through with that in terms of um, connecting the transfers. But it's, it's simple, though. So let's get back here to the training. Again, make sure that you're sharing this video. <clears throat> make sure you're liking, <clears throat> share with a friend, uh, entrepreneur, a business person that want to get the online store going. That's just started. And they're saying, Matthew, I want to build an online store, but I'm, I can't get things going. So please make sure that you're sharing this video. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the share out there. I want to help you with your business. You know, I've been creating websites since I was, you know, 7, 10, almost over about 20 years now. Right. And I'm so glad that I stuck with it because it's opened up so many doors for me that it's like, wow, so many doors. Um, but let's keep it going. So now let's get back over um, to the website. So the next thing now, once we've, we've gotten this set up here with the Stripe or whatever payment gateway that you want to use. Right. I'm just going to use manual since. And you can do manual payments as well. So let me just click here to just delete. I'm going to delete Stripe for now. So you can utilize manual payments where people pay you when they, you know, uh, COD, cash on delivery. So let's use that for now. We could always change that. And then the next thing is you can also set up promo codes, promo codes that you want people to get access to. You can come here. <clears throat> you can set up a promo code. That's the title. Let's set a coupon code. Um, grid box. So let's I want to set that up and I can set this promo code in percentages or a fixed amount. So I'm just going to put like, let's say 10 percent. You can set this for all products or based on specific categories. So I'm going to leave for all products. And you can also set this access. <clears throat> you can give access to only um, people that have an account on your website to get to use this promo code. So if anyone else that's not a member, they would not be able to use the promo code for whatever products that you're selling. So this is really great because there are times when you want to offer something just to your members, right? Or, and you don't want the general public to be able to get access to it. I'm sure that you've seen sites where um, they tell you, listen, you have to be a member, you get this discount, you get this, you save X amount. So that's where this comes in. But for now, let's slip this at public. And then uh, you can choose the date that it starts. So I'm just going to choose here from today's date and I'm just going to choose, you know, a year from now. And then once you're done, click on save. So we do, we did that. So now we want to be able to go over to, uh, go over here and we want to be able to start to add, you know, the products that we want to put on the site. So this is the route. We're going to create the categories that we want to be able to add on this site. So let's come here. I'm just going to change this. You can right click to change, you know, the names of them. So we can call this one men's shirt. You can delete that. Just look this. You don't have to upload the images right now. So we can come back to do this later on. And then you can create another category again, women jackets. You can call this again, whatever you wanted to call it, but I'm just giving you different names here. And then you can have this one, hats, beanies. So create all the categories. You can create sub subcategory. Let me just delete this here. So you can create subcategories of items. So make sure that if you want it to be a major category, that you select the root and then click. And let's just come here and click one more. 
juices. Okay, so now we've we've done that. And you want to click right here. Let's go back to the root. You click right here. You choose a category that you want to add items to. And then you click. When you click here, you get this three options. You can choose a phys you can sell a physical product, you can sell a digital product, or you can sell a subscription. So if you want to sell a subscription, you click this. If you want to sell a digital product, you click this. If you want to sell a physical product. So let's click on this physical product here. When you get this, it's going to ask you, just leave this as the default template for now. We're going to leave this how it is. Um, we're going to call this one T-shirt men. All right, so you click on next. So from here, this is where you can just add your your images. So I'm just going to grab some images that I've already downloaded. So I'm going to click here image. Now when you do this, you can create different folders. So let's create a uh, a folder. So I'm going to call this one men. So all the men item we're going to put here. So let's click on this. And then we're going to upload it. So we're going to upload it from wherever we download this from. Okay. We're, so you have to have all the images that you want to add to your site. So we're going to go here and click on there. And I've already downloaded, you know, everything right here. So this is uh, the men's. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to add. So now I've added the men. And then I can choose the image that I want to add for that one. So I can click on there and I click to add. And I want to click here. This is going to be the main photo that people get to see. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to click to add. So this is what they're going to see there. And then I'm going to add a couple more images. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to add this. You can add as many as you want to, but I, I'm just adding four. There's no reason why I'm adding four. I'm just adding it. So now that I've done that, I can choose what category that I want this to be in. So I'm just going to put on the men's shirt, even though it's not a shirt. Right? You put your description. And then I'm just going to copy this. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And then you can set your price. This is where you want to set the price. So I'm going to put this one here for $20. Um, I'm not saying skew anything right now. Now with the badges here, I can keep this one. Let's say I'm having to sell. So I can select that badge. Now I haven't set up options yet. We're going to set up options in just a moment. So I just want to get you to set up the product. So once you set up your product, uh, then you're pretty much good. So let's click on save. So the product has been successfully added. Now let's go back and let's refresh, right? You're gonna see that um, you have this product right here. So now you have this shirt and you go over to the women's jacket. Now this is the only part that can take time in terms of adding. So I'm gonna add another one here, women's jacket, and then click on next. Again, wherever you've downloaded these images to, you just want to be able to grab it. So let's create another folder for women. And I'm going to click this. And I'm going to grab where I have the women. I'm just going to drag all this there. So this is uploading all the women uh, pictures that I want to use on this site. Okay, so that's there now. And I just have to select which one that I want to go with here. So I'm going to pick this one. At, and let's just add a, at this one here. So as you can see, it's very simple for you to be able to add the images. You can add multiple. I'm just adding four again. I'm just adding four. No reason why I'm adding four. Uh, but just description. You can put in whatever description you want. You can put in the price $20. If you want to have it a sell price, if you're having to sell, you put that sell price there. If you have a weight, you can put that. Um, the badge, I'm going to put this as, you know, hot. We haven't had the product options yet. That's okay. 
So let's click on save. So now we've added two products um, on there. So we have the men's shirt and the men's jacket. And then we can be able to add some more things here. Again, this is the only part that when it comes to actual building the site, I think that category was beanies. So this is the only part that takes a little bit of time um, for you to just to add the products in, but that's okay though. So let's create another category. So we're gonna call this on beanies, the beanie babies. And let's just go and upload. Uh, what am I gonna put in the beanies right here? So I'm gonna grab this. And as you can see, the, the load time is very fast. This is exactly what you want when you're building a site because you wanna make sure that the site speed plays a major role. You don't want people to come in your site and then it's, it's lagging, takes forever. Um, as you can see here, the software, the extension is, is fast, it's super fast. It's super fast, so let's go over. Now we've added this here and then just same description again. Uh, you can put in a price. I'm just putting whatever price here. The badge. Um, put in sale. And then categories to beanies. And then we just want to click on save. Okay, so now we've added these here. We're going to come back to these later on. We're going to come back to them. Now the next thing is we want to start working on our homepage, right? I just wanted to... Uh, I really wanted to just add some products on there just to show you how those products can be. Um, so next thing that we're going to do now is we are going to actually start to work on the home page. Now, I tell people this when you're designing your home pages, you want to keep it simple. I've seen so many websites, they try to clog it up, they try to showcase everything that they have to offer. No, 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 no. Use the KISS principle. Keep it simple keep it simple silly right that's what that means so you don't want a site where the home page looks so much going on especially when you're starting out maybe you're watching this and you have maybe just three products that you want to sell you don't have tens of thousands you don't have hundreds of products you have maybe three four five six or you have ten products you want to keep your home page simple and so that way the benefits of having a simple site is that it's going to load so much faster. When people come on your website, they don't want to spend 10 seconds just wait for a page to load. I've been to so many e-commerce websites that you click on an item, you have it takes like 10 seconds to load and people get frustrated. After a while, they will leave and never come back. So your first experience is you want people to be pleasantly, uh, you want them to have a pleasant experience on your website. So once they've you've done that, um, then let's go over now. We're going to continue on to work on this website. Again, make sure that you're sharing this link. Make sure you're telling someone about it. I appreciate um, all the support that I can get for this because I want to help you with your business. You know, I usually charge uh, a huge fee to do something like this, but I say, you know what? I want to give back. I want to give back because I know that someone else can be able to use this. If I had what I had now, when I started, man, I would have been... I, so only God knows where I'd have been, but I thank God I'm here though. Thank God that I'm still here. So let's get this going to training here. Um, so now we want to work on the home page. The home page, I want to keep it very, very simple. So let's go back here. You want to click on this, right? And you want to go to uh let's go here to pages. So let's click on this add new item. This new item, this is going to be called the home page. Again, we're going with the KISS principle. You don't want to have something so complicated. You want to, especially when you're starting, you want people just to be able to buy your products. You can customize things later. You can do a lot of tweaking later on, but let's get this up and going first. Where it says page blocks, don't worry about this. I'm going to go through. It's just showing you what to do, but I know what to do. That's why I'm teaching this, right? So let's click that X right there. So when you open Gridbox, you notice you have a lot of, you know, different icons here. One of the things that I look for, one of the things that I look for when I'm building websites, the interface of what I'm using to build, that is usually a selling point for me. Not even the price, matter of fact, you know, not even really the price. Because if I can get an interface 
that is easy for me to use. I'm not frustrated. I'm not aggravated. You know, that's one thing that I love about this interface is that it is it's so simple. It is so simple. You don't have a lot of things all over the place. I've used interfaces where I'm like, oh, my goodness, I've been, I'm a pro at this, but I'm I'm confused, man. What am I supposed to do? Somebody help me, <laughs> you know, somebody help me. So as you can see here, the interface is very clean. You have your save buttons right here. So anytime that you're doing your work, you make sure you click on save. You have the undo and the redo. So you make a mistake, you can always click back, you can click front to go back and forth to make changes. Over here, this is where you can check out the different uh, versions on the devices that you're using. So you have a desktop, your laptop. This is really great because you can kind of gauge and see how these different apps work, right? You can gauge um, just to see how how they look on this. So if I do this, right, if I'm, I don't have anything in there right now, but it's going to adjust based on the size of my screen. And you need a website that is responsive. Something that will adjust based on the size of the screen of whatever device that someone is using. And then over here, you have the tools, you have the media manager. This is where all your images, you see we're uploaded the, the, the photos here. This is where all the images are being uploaded, right? And, and then you have the font library, they also have a photo editor that allows you to edit uh, a photo, which I might, if, if I have time, I can do that later on, but we don't really need that right now. Just so I want to get you to get your site up and going. So you go to settings. Now for the settings, this is the title for SEO reasons. You can call this, I'm just going to call this e-commerce website. And for the, let me see, for the alias, the alias is pretty much just the title it's just going to replace that with it. Now I don't have an images that I want to put right now, but I'm just going to grab something. So I'm going to click here and I'm just going to choose any one of these here to be the image that shows uh, on the search part of it. Click add and then go to publishing, uh, go to SEO. So this is where you put in your SEO, e-commerce website. And you put in your metadata and all those things. Now, for the robots, you want to make sure for the e-commerce website, make sure that's set to index-follow. What this means is that when search engines are crawling your website, they're going to say, okay, this we can follow. Now, it's set to global. I'm not going to go with what that global is. The global meaning that Joomla gives you a global setting. So that way, you can set a global setting to index-follow. So all the pages that you create will be automatically followed by search engines. But there are times when you may not want to use this index-follow. There are times when if you have a membership website where you have sensitive content that's not meant for the public, you don't want just anyone but the members to have access to, not the search engines, then you can be able to click you can set this on an individual basis. No index, no follow. But in this case, let's just click on index follow. And then for the sharing, this is where, I'm just gonna grab this image again, just grab one of these right here. This is when people share your website, this is what they're gonna see. Um, like when you go, when you copy a link to a website and you share with someone, the thumbnail, this is the thumbnail on the description that they're going to see. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Buy products from my my e-commerce website okay so let's go so now we have that default setting so this here is good we're good now okay make sure you click on save i've had times when i've done a lot of work and i x off and i forgot to close it um i don't know if you know if they can add like an automatic save where after a few minutes or so it saves that for you um that'd be a great feature to add because sometimes people work on stuff and you forget to save and you x off and you lose the content so if there's like an automatic save uh function that'd be really great for balboa to add and then you go over to your pages here you can add a new page we're not covering that for the theme uh it's just showing you the colors you can change the default colors for the site the default background we're going to take a look at that later on uh basics the script if you have any uh script that you want to put in like you get something from google or a chat or they want to connect with your site this is where you know you can put it though typically when you get the script So they'll typically let you know, sorry about the audio, they'll typically let you know where to put the header, whether you put it right here or you put it right there. 
um, that's going to show you um, that part. So we're not going to worry about that right now. So let's go over now and start to work on this section right here. Again, let's go over to the page structure real quick. The page structure, it shows you the different header. Now how this works is it tells you when you click here, as you add more items, as you move your mouse over this, it's going to let you know what section of the page that you're working on. This is really helpful, okay? This is helpful because sometimes you don't know you just need that help. This is a really great feature that they have that was introduced. And then over here, you have your blocks. Now, when you're building websites, one of the things about building websites is this. You want to be able to use as many features that comes with the software as possible. When you're building, you want to make sure time is a major factor when it comes to building websites. Time, because time is money, money is time, right? You don't want to have to waste unnecessary time to do things that you, you could save time on. So what they've done here is they've done um, giving you different things you can be able to use. You can drag and drop any one of these, right, on the page. And we're going to see that in just a moment. But I'm just going through this here. You can drag anything here and put it on your page that you're looking to, to add. So you don't have to build it from scratch. You can use what's called page blocks. If there's something here, a design that you like, you can use this design and just drag it over here. The reason why I'm not doing that yet, because I want I want to show you uh, some other things, but you can use any one of these. And we're going to take a look at that. We'll add some of this in just a moment. Just a beautiful designs that's already made. You don't have to build anything. You just drag and drop and then you can edit call to action. And then the library. So now let's start start here. So we want to be able to work on this header the first part is let's click on let's click on this here I'm gonna change this to uh, the logo name so this is the logo and I want to matter of fact I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this I'm gonna click right here where it says add new element add new element and these are all the different plugins that you can be able to use to add different features so if you want to add a button you come here if you want to add an image a text you scroll through here and these are all the different elements that you can add on your page so this gives you different features gives you more flexibility so if you want to add google maps you want to add a countdown you want to add a rating these here would definitely help you so what i want to do is i'm just going to add in the heading right now so we're going to have this heading it's going to install it okay so the heading Let me make sure I'm clicking on save here again. Just to make sure that I don't lose anything. Okay, so let's come here. And we're going to have this heading. So now there's the heading. I'm going to delete the logo, the icon right there. So let me delete that. Okay. So now I want to come edit this. And I'm just going to call this um, Core Abs right if you notice here you notice it's kind of spread out so we want to be able to adjust this right now i just the, the the header part here needs to get fixed okay it looks a little out of place so what you want to do is you want to put your mouse over this you have several icons here one of the icons that you want to focus on is you want to click on this modify the columns this is going to allow you to modify your columns so we want to have this three so now you notice everything fits within that space. Another beautiful thing too is that you can drag this over like that. You can move it over. So I'm going to move this a little over and I'm going to move that a little over. So what I want to do now is I'm going to click here and I'm going to click again. I want to add what's called nested rows. I click on nested rows and I'm going to make these two and then I'm going to click to add a plugin. I click to add the cart. So now I've added a cart. I'm going to drag that over to the, and then I'm going to click here again, and I'm going to add in a wish list. Right here. So now I've added the wish list. So now we have the cart icon added, and we have the wish list. And then let me just kind of change this here a little bit. I'm going to change this. So go to design. I'm going to change this color. Uh, just something like uh, I keep this blue right here. So that looks good. And if I want to change the size of it, I can bring it down here too. 
so I can bring it down and I'm just gonna drag this over all right so I have enough space so now I'm gonna make sure I click on save now when you go to the home page right you're still not going to see as much yet you see it's coming along pretty good right this coming along pretty good and now we want to be able to continue what we're doing so it's starting to take shape so what we want to do now is when you put your mouse over each item here you can see how much space how much space in the margin and based on this here there's too much header space right there's too much white space at the top and too much white space um, at the bottom so we can adjust that and in order to adjust that we want to go back here right if you like the white space that's here and you want to keep it that way that's fine okay so let me go back here I want to change this okay now you see this home I'll show you something you see this home this is a breadcrumb module that came with the default Joomla I don't want this thing right here anymore because I don't need it so to get rid of it I'm gonna to go to system and then go over to site um, modules and I want to disable this breadcrumb. The breadcrumb is shown, let me refresh this. The breadcrumb is shown here because it's, it's, it's in a different module position. So we don't need that breadcrumb. We took that off and then that's fine. So now let's go back here. And I want to just save this. Now I would have to refresh the page in order for that breadcrumb module not to be there. So what I want to do right now is I want to add an image in the background. We'll work on this header part more later on, but let's add an image in the background right here. So I'm going to go over to this section. This section covers every item that you can put in this section. That is the ultimate covering for it. So you're going to click here and I'm going to click edit. I'm going to go to background and I am going to go where it says type I want to choose you can add videos you can add gradient so if you want to add a gradient background you can do that but let's add an image for this one okay so I'm gonna go now and grab an image that I have so I have my images I have this so I'm gonna grab that image and I'm gonna grab this one right here and I click to add it so just like that, we've added the head image. It's still coming along pretty good. So what I want to do right now is I want to add uh, an overlay. An overlay uh, gives your website a little more professional touch. Now, one of the things, if, if I click Save Now and I go to the home page and I refresh it, you don't really see anything. And the reason why you don't see anything because this image, there's nothing here to create a space. Uh, for this so I'm going to uh, let me let me do this so I'm gonna change the column for this one here let's make this column let's leave it at one let's leave it at one for now and let's go over to add new plugin I'm gonna create add a header so now when I click save and I refresh this here um, okay I the reason why you're not able to say this here let's do this just so we can keep track of the front end you can't see anything here yet because we have to assign this page as the main page so let's go over to menus go to main menu and you want to click where it says home and then from the home you want to go with to select you go to grid box you go to page and you want to select the app which is pages not products and let's select the page which is the e-commerce website and want to click on save and close and we'll go back to the home refresh it now you can be able to see the website is starting to come alive okay so now let's go back here <clears throat> and we want to be able to add I'm gonna add a button here so I'm gonna click add so I'm gonna add a button or is this a button as some of you guys said button right we said button so I'm gonna add that and I want to change this this uh, button here I want to make this a uh, different uh, a different color let me see how I want to do this okay so I want to change this now the button has two states you have uh, overlay state where if I hover it changes color so I want to change this now to let's give it I like this color so the overlay color I want to change that to I don't want that black I'm gonna change it to like a, a blue or something so when you hover over it you get that blue or you can live whatever colors that you want it to be right and then I want to change this text right here I want to change that to be white so I'm gonna come color 
I change that to be white and I'm gonna make sure I come in and I click save so I'm gonna change this from read more to buy now and then I'm gonna put this change the title for this to uh, get in the best shape of your life right all of us want to get in the best shape of our lives so now let's go on the front end again and see what progress we've made okay so now it's coming together you can see just like that your website is coming together pretty nice and neat so what I want to do now is I want to come over here let's keep this moving right um, you can add some more space if you want so I'm gonna come here to the section I'm gonna go ahead uh, the margins right now set at a hundred let's try 200 okay so let's that 200 looks okay um, that's fine and then we can kind of adjust this right here let's try for this part here um, You could always change this too. So when you come now, you see that it's taking this. Now, if there's too much space at the top, you could always come back and let's adjust the layout. So that 100 at the top, or we can probably make that 100. Let's keep the 100 then. So that's fine. Okay. So now let's go back and we're going to add an overlay. Let's add an overlay. And I just want to give you guys a quick tip here an overlay this is the one feature that separates beginners from absolute from pros I've seen so many people where when they are building their website you want to be able to make sure that you have that professional touch you can tell when a pro do something and when an absolute beginner do something so Add an overlay, and I'm going to show you guys in a second. It gives your site a certain look, right? It just, it just, it just gives it that look. Let me, I'm thirsty. Let me drink some water. Everybody get it. Listen, take a water break, right? It's been almost an hour. Take a water, get, grab it. You have a bottle. I'm, I'm drinking a gallon. Ah, man, I was parched. I was thirsty. Mmm. Ah, grab a water grab a water grab a gallon <laughs> stay healthy so let's go back now to um, to work on this here so uh, overlay let's add an overlay with this okay so come back here let's click on edit and we're gonna go over to the layout you want to scroll down and we want to add some type of uh, a background let me say background do you want to add a divider? We can add a divider. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do a divider just yet. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if I want to do a, a divider. So we can be able to add the shadow. Let me see which I want to be. Able, okay. So let's go the overlay. So this the you can have a color. You can have a gradient. If you put a gradient, you can blur it like that, right? Maybe you're you want to be able to blur certain images out where you want people to be able to log in first to get access to it then you can blur that <clears throat> and you can also have a gradient as the background but let's just go with color for now so with the color you notice that right there you can also you can drag and drop move this over you see right here how you're able to just that gives it a different look i want you to see something look at this you see how this image looks it looks nice but it's it doesn't have that pro touch now look at this one right here it gives and you can change the opacity another thing to opacity is a is a word that a lot of pro designers have mastered that beginners everything has to be so bright well the image in the background shows great right what we want to do is i can change the color right let's say i want to make that color something like that right now let's get a little bit of contrast going here because um so I think that looks okay, right? You could always change this too anytime you want. And you can change the opacity by going up or by bringing it down. The lower you bring it, then the more it is. And you can change. So you kind of move around here and see what opacity looks good for you, for you. So I like how this looks because it gives it a different look, right? So let's go back here. When I click on save and I refresh it, you're going to see the difference. Look at this. This looks so much different. Just with that one tip alone, so many of you can change how your website look. I've seen some of your websites and it looks so harsh, right? It looks so harsh and it's not su subtle or gentle. Uh, so now let's click here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to click edit. 
And I'm going to put start right right now. <clears throat> so I want this to be like an H3 tag. Right? Or if I put an H1, then I just have to come in here. I'm going to change the size for it. So let's get that size down. And the reason is start right now. We could put it at 40, 45 or so. Right? And then let's come in and we want to be able to remove the margins right now it's 25 up top let's take that out 25 at the bottom that just decreases the space between the two items so if you look let me save this here if you look you notice that there's just too much space between these two now these are all different look these are all small things that makes your site look professional it may not look like a lot, but if you have you ever been on some websites where you look at it, you're like, wow, this is quality. You can just tell from the fonts, the alignment, the layout, the adjustments, the color gradient. So you want to be able to start to add those those little things that gives your site that mwah, beautiful touch. So let's get back to this here. OK, so now we have this. Go back to the editing and. The header part pretty much looks okay. So let's add an icon with this. So let's click here. I'm going to add an icon and go to cart. I'm going to grab this one here. looks good. So now we've added a cart and we're going to worry about linking this later on. Let's take the space. There's too much space between um, at the bottom. So let's take that space at the bottom um, off. So let's set that to zero. So now it's moving there just a little bit more and the header part of it, you know, is done. Again, I want to keep this thing very simple for you. So so far this is what you've been able to build this is how your website is coming along if you've never created a website before congratulations you're doing really great let's keep this going so now i want to adjust um i guess i can probably do that later on right i can do see the margins for these here they're still a little bit too much so we can work on that later on so now let's um let's go add the menus item that we want to have so let's go back here and we're going to go to the main menu and want to click on new we want to add some menu items so let's have men men shirt and we want to click on select I can change this later on I'm just using this for now men shirt we want to click on save and new and then women's jackets want to click here menu item type select again again I'm not connecting anything yet I just want you to show show you the menus that's going to be on the front end just so you can see how it works and then let's click on save and new we're going to connect all this to the actual product pages and now let's go to um, juices blends okay and I'm just select anything here and then one more let's click on save and new all right let's okay let's select the category there we go so let's click here save and new again we're building the front end menus that you're going to see in just a moment so let's go to hats beanies the beanies okay and then let's just come select i go to article featured article and then let's click on save so let's go on the front end so you can see what's happening now so you go on the front end now you have your menus just set okay as you're building your store your menus have been set that you can be able to use if you click on this right now you're not going to be able to see anything just yet okay we're not able to see anything just yet but i want us to get the menu set up uh so let's go back here and let's create let me go to save a new and then let's just create um contact we're going to create a simple contact page for people to be able to contact you through and let's go to save and close now i want to be able to so when you go back to the front and you refresh it now you notice here that this is taking too much space right so you have one or two options how do you fix this matthew great question now you don't see this here so let's click on save and then you have to refresh the page and then you're going to be able to see it show up like that one of the ways you can do that is you can either just drag this over like that but if you drag it over then you would have to adjust the size of the logo right and we want to keep that logo that size so another way we can be able to do this is i am going to shorten where it says women's i'm just going to shorten that to women's so now when you refresh it you have more space and then i'm just going to come here too do i want to i like how that looks hat 
Okay, so now that that looks okay, we'll also adjust that later on. So what I want to do now is I want to make some other changes here. Do I want to change the color? Let me see if I change this here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make some changes right now to this, right? So I want to change I want to change this header. I want to give it a little more umph, right? Let's see. Can I do the same thing here for this one? Okay, I can do that. So let's do this. Let's make this site pop a little bit more. Let's change this background color. Okay, I want to change this to, instead of being a, a white, we can do a gradient. Right? See that gradient? How that looks? Well, the start color. Um, we can start off right here. We can start off right here. Or we can just make that one color. So now you have a gradient. I'm just showing you again the possibilities that you can be able to have. So if you don't want your header to just look so plain and simple, um, you can do that. So I'm going to keep that, that gradient, that first gradient right there. And then I can choose uh, another gradient, something like that. Right. So now that gradient actually works really great. And then I'm going to change the font colors design. I want to change that to be white. So now the menus are white. Right, the menu colors are um, actually white. So I'm going to click on save here. I can change this icon colors right here. Let's go over. Let me move this. So you want to look at what you're doing. So let's change that to white. And let's change this one to, um, to white as well. Now they have a hover. When you hover over it, it gives you a different color. But we'll worry about that later on. Let's change this logo right here. Let's change this to, let's make this one here. Uh, let's make this white as well because that's going to pop up a little more. So I'm going to click on save again. Um, you can see now. So this is what we started with and this is what we have. You know, I think this adds a little more flair, a little more color, you know, to the site. So your, your, your shop is coming along pretty good. They can place their orders almost. Right. So next we want to be able to come and we want to be able to add another column here, another section. Now with this section here. We want to have this section to be, um, let's just have this section here to be one. You could always have one section or you can be able to add multiple columns and rows with it. And then let's just come in, let's click to add. And then we're going to locate, we're going to locate the shop. So as you scroll through here, you can be able to see all the different stuff that you can add, like for the apps the categories, the content filters, and and all those. Um, we can add like a, a post slider. And then let's choose here for the post slider. We have products. So now, just like that, you've added products to your post. Okay, so now we're going to be able to add another plugin here. Let's add in uh, a header. Matter of fact, let's do this right here. Let's add in this one. So 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 far, right now, people can be able to buy your, your store. So let's go over, look at the front end, see what we've got so far. So this is what your store looks like. So just like that, your site, people can be able to add to cart. So if I click add to cart here, it's going to show up. So let's do something. Let's make this head a fix. Okay, I like to make this head a fix. So instead of being classic, um, I want this to be fixed. The reason I want it to be fixed and I have to make some adjustments here with this other image, we want to be able to make sure that uh, instead of 100, let's put in 300, right? Um, 300, okay. Let's, tr let's try 350. Let's try 350. So 350 gives you a little more space on the header right there. So now that we've had this fixed, before, as you scroll down, when I add to the cart, right, nothing like you you don't see but let's refresh this page once you refresh it and then you scroll down the header stays fixed the header stays fixed so that means that when i click here and i add to cart it's going to say do i want to add this you see how simple it is just like this you can get your store going you, you click um you can either click checkout so it's already added to the cart You can click check it. We're not checking out right now. So now this is the item that's in someone's cart. And even if you have just a few number of products, if this is all that you're able to accomplish, let me talk to you guys here for a minute, right? If this is all 
that you're able to accomplish with your store, right? So, so far, we've been able to set up Joomla. We've been able to install the Gridbox extension. Again, go buy the Gridbox extension uh, to build the store. We've been able to set it up just like that within a few clicks. If this is all that you're able to do, you can start to sell your products right now. You don't have to wait for weeks, for months, in less than one hour. The reason why it's taking an hour to do this is because I have to talk through and walk through but your store is already set to go this is incredible right you're building an online store that you can start selling your products right now people can buy from anywhere in the world anywhere in the world so let's get back so again make sure you're sharing this video please you're liking and let's get the likes up let's really get the likes up uh, i definitely appreciate it let's get the likes so let's get back here um to the training so, so far, you've been successfully able to build your store and it's come along pretty great, right? So now what we want to do is let's add, let me add another, let me add another section or I can add another column right here. Let's see. I can add another plugin. Let me put this header. And then we can call this one here. No, I don't want to stick it. No, not the stick it. Yeah, delete. I don't want the sticky header yet. We're not doing sticky headers right now. Headline. That's what I needed. So we're going to call this one here um, New Arrivals. Okay. And then I just want to drag this up. So now I'm going to move this. This here, New Arrivals. Maybe you have a new store. This is your New Arrivals. Let's click on Save. And if we're going to front end here, you notice that we have um, there's still too much space. Now, if you like the white spaces, you want to keep it that way. That's great. But there's just still too much space on here. So let's fix that. OK, so let's fix that. Let's come. And uh, we want to be able to adjust that. Matter of fact, before we do that, let's go over here and the space that we have a hundred so a hundred right now is just too much so when I put 50 you notice the space between the two I can put it as zero right and that looks okay that looks okay new arrivals I'm just going through the different options here just to see um, so I want to make this bold. You can change the font size for it. And let's kind of just bring the opacity down again a little bit. Again, opacity gives your site a certain professional touch. Like if I have the, the, the color all the way up like this, it's, it's just too dark and too harsh. For all those of you that want to take your web design to a different level, I want you to watch this. It's just this little things that will make you and set you apart from beginners that are, you know, just every, this color is black, but that black, you know, it just looks too harsh. So I want to blend that just a little. And when I blend it, you notice now that it, it looks it looks better. It, it's not a major change. But when you start to add a lot, then, you know, you have a whole lot more that you can be able to do. Now, I want to see what I can do here. I want to see to. So, again, let's take a look at the front end. So if this is all that you're able to accomplish, your store is already set to go. You can start to take orders on your site right now. People can be able to start to order on your site literally right now. OK, so let's style this a little bit. I love styling. So let's go over to this here and we're going to use the shape divider. So the shape divider, so let's activate it. It shows you the different shape dividers that you can be able to use. So if I put that there, oh, you see how that looks for the top. Maybe I want to put something like that, right? You want to be creative. Uh, you can test out the different shape dividers that they have. You can, you know, if you want to be more creative, you kind of come through here so I'm going through one of these here so I'm just gonna keep this shape divided for now I love colors I love love colors you know so I'm gonna keep this one here for now right you said just, it just added a little something else to the site you know you don't have to keep it if you don't want to and that's okay if you take it out you can change the color um, for it just so let's go back with the shape dividers I'm doing this because I have so many people that math you know I don't want my website to look so boring I want to be able to add a little more flair I want a little more umph so let's add a little more umph so now that's the top this the bottom 
right so just like that the shape dividers is giving your website a brand new look so this is what you currently have right now on the front end when i refresh this boom it's giving it a unique look and let me just talk to you guys for a minute here one of the key things that is going to separate your business from other businesses is your ability to be different stop trying to blend in with everybody else stop trying to make it stop trying to copy how other websites look you can use other websites as a starting point right you can use this as an inspiration so you know what i like how this is but be creative be different do listen create layouts as you can see you can build amazing layouts you can tweak you can customize you can build a site that's uniquely yours forget how the other layouts look if people think your site look crazy listen this is where your creativity comes to play and as you can see from what we've worked on right now is it's not going to look like the typical website who wanted to be that is what is going to set your business apart your website apart from the rest of them you want something where people are like wow you know what there's something different about this i really like it so so far right now we have created a simple site which is the goal let's get back here let me show you guys let's get back to this training again make sure that you're sharing this video that you're liking and let's get the likes up let's get the likes up so this is what you have we started with a blank canvas and now we have something like this and it's gone great right now one thing too about colors um so when you put your mouse over this let me come back here i want to change this color because there's something about color as a designer there's just something about color contrast that you want to be able to have right so you don't want everything to look exactly the same and you want to be able to okay i love colorful sites so that's colorful right now right so let's go over to the hover i want to change that hover to let me change that to the gradient this right so someone hovers over that so now we have a hover site that looks really great and um so we're good right so we're good we're good good to go on that part now let's scroll down and you can have the add to cart people can add the products to cart they can be able to check out you can be able to customize let me see what else do you want to customize with this so okay so with this here let's go on the front end oops i don't mean to do that so let me go back here on the front end this is your home page can you imagine you never created a website before and this is the first website you can tell someone listen this is my first website that i just made look how beautiful and amazing this looks not just because i designed it but these guys have done a fantastic job to we got to give a round of applause a digital applause to balboa for creating this awesome extension listen this can go up against any other software on the planet so now new arrivals okay so new arrivals look pretty and you put your mouse over this look it changes it changes the image so if you have just three products to you to sell your site is done right people can be able to click to order let's go back what else do you want to do with this site so let's click now we can clone this here I am going to uh, let me let me do this I am going to add another section right let's add another section here and in this section let's have two two columns so I want to be able to add an image matter of fact even without the image let me just at the column space right here so we're going to add an image select an image and for the men let me just go ahead i got to upload some other ones too that i didn't upload men's t-shirt so i'm going to just drag all this right here just open so we're going to get this uploaded and i want to sell this shirt so I'm going to have that there. And I want to make sure that the layout, let's do this. Let's have 200 um, by two, 200, right? And let's make this 100 by 100. So we're just adjusting some of the uh, things there. And then we're going to have, let me click save here. And then let's add another heading. Let's add a heading right here. And we're going to call this one Men Shirts. 
and then let's change the color we want to make that to be white All right or we can keep it like that for, we're working at the the look the coloring of it later on right we're working that later on um, let's see here what else we want to do let's see this full width I'm just gonna mix I'm just and one of the beautiful things too yep let's do that so I want to be so I want something different and I'm gonna so we have this shirts right now and and I'm going to add another button here let's put a button and we're gonna call this one by now it's coming along pretty great let's change the color for the button to the normal let me see here we want to keep some type of uniformity but for the sake of this I want to give a creative freedom um, to do however you want your stuff to be so we can lift that green that green's okay for now right we can we could always change that green up later on so let's lift that green um, for now and let's click on save so when you click on save and then let's add another another image right here so we're going to go back here background and let's click to add another image and let's see let's add this one here so now we have this too now instead of me recreating this all over again I can just duplicate I can copy it and just drag it over but if I drag it over the adjustments that I made I guess okay I can I can do that so let's click on save here and I'm just gonna add in uh, another header and we're gonna call this one kids right we're gonna adjust where that's staying at right now it's at the very top but we can always adjust that later on now let's change this the reason why that's like that let's go over here and we want to change this to let's change this to 200 200 let's get this to 100 100 right so now just like that we've gotten the kids to be in the middle to match up with this one um, so let me clone this kids I'm gonna change this I'm gonna change this kids color here let me make this one here white so I'm gonna put that to white kids cool oh, cool stuff let's just put in cool stuff cool stuff so we want to make sure that we take the space between that let's take the bottom mark um, pattern margin off let's remove the top margin from this one put that to zero so now we've gotten the stuff a lot closer and let's make sure we move this over so you can see what I'm doing here so I want to be able to change the size of that cool stuff right so I want to make that uh, let's bring that down a little let's bring that down And then the line height. Uh, let's bring. Let's reduce that line height. It's just too much. So we want to get a little bit closer. Cool stuff. And then we can change that color to, you know, to white because that white and that red it sticks out like that. And then let's copy this buy now button here. We're just gonna drop that right there, right? So let's um, copy by now let's add an icon with the cart I love icons so let's do an icon let's add a cart let's go here at boom now we have icon that just gives it that e-commerce feel let's do the same thing too with this one here let's add a cart and then let's come and let's change let's change this right here let's change let me see we could also change the opacity for this one if we want to right or I can come in and say, you know what? I can move the items to the left like that. I can move it to the middle. I can move it to the center. However I want it to be. But let's just keep it at the center for right now. I know it's a little hard to read, but we'll fix that in a minute. So now let's go over to you know, overlay. So we can have the overlay like that, right? We can have the overlay. But with the overlay, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to bring this down some or just 
again, it's, it's up to you to be able to do that. It's up to you to be able to do that. Um, let's so let's save. So so far, let's double, let's clone this here. And I'm gonna delete this to save time. I'm just gonna clone this instead of having to do it again. And I'm just gonna put that right there. So let me just remove the margins now from this one. And the bottom margin is too high. So I'm gonna move that margin. You can't see it yet. We can change that. Um, do I even want to add a nested? No, let's not do nested right now. We can work on that later on. So let's look in the front and see what we got. Let's look in the front end. Let's let's check out progress. So this now, the button, and then you have this here at the bottom, right? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is let's let's keep things simple i'm just going to delete this right here i'm just going to delete this so we're just going to lift the buy now so people can just click on um the buy now so let's let's see how that looks so you have the kids cool stuff right you have a buy now they just click on there and they can buy now now you can move the button a little bit down let me take that off i just want to keep it simple you can and we can be able to add a little more space to the very top let me see not that no don't want that all right so we'll just lift that buy now button right there right so when you look in the site it gives you the buy now options another thing let's remove the space right now there's just so much space if you look right here there's too much gap Let's reduce that a little. So this 100, the bottom, the pattern is 100. Let's try zero and see how much that looks. Okay, so that looks zero. And let's just clone this. We're going to clone this here, and we're just going to drag this down to the bottom. We're going to drag this down to the very bottom here, and we want to make sure that we set the space. Remove the bottom margin, set that to zero. And we want to change... Even this has a margin. So let's change the margin. So when you put your mouse over, the pattern shows you the green area that's highlighted. Let's change the pattern for this. It's just too much. So I want to take that pattern now. And let me see how zero looks. So when I put it to zero, you notice that it looks um, it looks like that. So I'm going to keep that new arrivals. Um, I'm going to have this call. Um, special orders right we can make the font for this a little bit smaller again it's just about being creative if the font size looks okay to you you don't have to make it smaller you can live it how it is so let's go to 50 right and let's see what we have so far. Special order. Again, the goal of it is you want to keep this simple, right? You want to keep it simple. Now, the guy's face is cut off here, so we can adjust that. If you wanted to um, have his whole face show, we can make some adjustments to that. Let's increase the margin. Let's hit 20. Or we can, let's just put like the 40. To the 50. 250 all right so 250 kind of shows face a little bit more again i'm just showing you how you can be able to make adjustments if need if you like how that looks you want to keep checking right if you like how that looks then you can keep it exactly you know how it is like that you don't have to do anything else and then you can just click um to buy now so this is the page here everything is pretty much um a set so now when you click on this, right, let's click on this, for example. Now, it shows just a little cut off there because we can, we can make that adjustment for that later on. But when you click on here, we can fix that. It just shows you reviews. It shows you any reviews for this particular product. People can leave a review about your product, right? They can look at the different types. They can click to add quantity. They can click to add. They can also share this on social media sites. And you can also click to edit that page. So when you click there, you can add more information about it. 
you can be able to have uh, different variations. So let's go back to the back end now. I want to see if we can add some variations to this. So uh, log me out. Let me log back in here again. All right, so we got the login. So again, please make sure that you're sharing this content. You know, share with a friend, an entrepreneur, a business person that's trying to get the business off the ground. I'm, my goal again for this is I want to show you how simple it is for you to build your online store. And so far, we started with just basic, and now the site is pretty much um, is pretty much done on this part. Uh, it's pretty much. So can you guys hear me now? So it's pretty much done here. Sorry about the audio, just to make some adjustments. So it's pretty much done. Hopefully the audio. It's the audio. Okay, the audio should be better now. I made some adjustments to it there. So hopefully this is, this is a little better. I apologize if the audio wasn't as clear um, or as loud before. Um, but I've made some let me put this here. I don't want it to. I don't want to blow people's ears out. So let's get back here now, and we are going to continue on um, right here. So we have this here, and people can add different quantities. So let's go back to the home page. Let's go back to the home page. Let's go to grid box here and let's go to product options. There's something else that I wanted to add. Okay. So let's add some product options here. Let me just take my notes to make sure. So we want to add, um, this one is going to be called colors. So we want to be able to add different colors in the drop down color picker. It's not required. So this one here, this is blue. Uh, we're going to put in black and we can put in, let's just say red and then click on save. So we're gonna add some colors to this and then let's also add some different sizes, right? You can add different sizes, size. Now with the sizes, we can be able to, all right, let's lift this for now. Let's lift that up for now. Um, let's just work in the colors first. So we'll click on save. We'll check out the colors. I just want to show you guys how the colors options work. So you can give your, your shoppers option to choose different colors. So let's click on here. So we'll go colors. So let's choose something that's uh, a blue. Now again, this may not be blue, but I'm just going to, let's go back here. Let's go to women. The color, no, the color's not blue because someone like Matthew, you pick up a, uh, a purple, you pick a different color, you call that blue. I just want to show you how that's going to look when you have actual colors. So I hope that the audio, guys, I really do apologize if the audio wasn't as clear or as loud before. Um, hopefully it's a lot better now. So let's add this black right here. And then I want to choose the red. I want to be able to add um, the women. Let me see. The beanies. Is there anything? Okay, so I'm just going to choose the red. And it's going to click on save. So now let's go to the front end, uh, the home page. And we can be able to add the colors that are associated here with this. But before we do that, let's click on this, the one that I think we added. Is it the beanies that we're adding the colors to? Yeah, the beanies. So we can click on the beanies here. And you can see the different color. Now, the reason why the colors are not showing right as you click on there is going to show you. I'm going to fix this header part here in just a moment. Matter of fact, let me just go back right here right now for now. And I am going to let me just make this scrollable for now default. OK, we're working out the part later on. I just want you guys to see. OK, so. You have the red, the blue. The reason why you can change the actual colors for these. I didn't do that. Let's go to color options on the back end here. And let's click. This is blue. Let's go to black. You can choose the black. Let's go to red. And you can choose the red. 
and save so you click on save so if you have a product that has different colors right let's refresh it now you can choose the red the black and the green look at that now they have different you know you can choose different sizes as well but i didn't put the sizes yet i just want to show you how simple it is and people can actually share this too so i can click here to add to wish list when i click add to wish list being added to wish list so now the wish list has been updated when i click on the wish list here it's going to show the items that i have on the wish list so let's go back um to the home page and I'm going to do the same thing too to the women's jacket. Let's click on this one right here. I'm going to add the different uh, color variation. I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to add the different color variation for the women's. Um, so we're finished with this one for now. So we'll go back to the grip box. And you can check all the products. So we have the women's jacket. And we want to be able to add the different options for this one as well. So let's add colors. So we have blue. And you can add as many colors as you need to. You can add as many. This Again, this is not blue. I don't want people to say, Matthew, do you know your colors? I do know my colors. Um, let's get this, uh, the men. And let's add one more, the beanies. Matter of fact, yeah, so that's good. And then we're going to add this one right here. Save. So we've saved that. Now let's do this for the men's the, the shirt. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. Let's add some options. Let's add the colors. Black. And let's add uh, blue, black. Man, I got my colors all interesting today I'm clicking all over so now we've just added the colors and you see right here the blue this you can the skew you can have a price you can have a price for each one right if you want to have a price for the blue a price for the red a price for the green you can be able to add prices for those as well so now let's go over to the home page again so now you have here, when I click on the beanies, for example, um, so we're going to connect now. The, one of the last things that we need to do is we want to be able to connect um, the pages we created. I got to refresh this. We got to be able to cre uh, connect the pages that we created to the front end, right? We want to be able to make sure that we're doing that. I don't know why I was giving that. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that up in a second. So let's go back now and make some adjustments here with this. Let's click on save. And we want to be able to make some adjustments here. So the reason why you see this stretches out now because I added, you know, something extra. So let's take off for the men's T-shirt. Let's go back to men's T-shirt here. I added extra pricing if the color is a certain price. So let's take that off. Let's take that off. Let's take that off. And we don't need that to be um, any extra. So we can be able to make sure that as we're having this here, just make sure that the link for it is, is connected. And then once you add it. And we don't want to have this right here right now. Uh, we want to be able to scroll through where it says info. You can choose to see the date. You don't want the date. So let's disable that date. Now the date's no longer shown there. Uh, let me see what else do we want. So we can scroll through here for the intro text uh, for the store. We want to have the colors. Let's add the colors. Now we added the colors. Do we want to add this slider? Um, let me see. Do we want to add the slider? So you can choose if you want to have the arrows. You see this arrows right here? If you want the arrows, let's disable the arrows for now. So let's click on save. And let's look on the front end right here, what we've got. So we'll refresh it now. And on the front end, this is what you have. You can be able to click to add to cart. You can click to learn a little bit more about each product. You can have special orders. Um, 
and then you can also you can even have a one you know like a one page so now finally let's just connect the menus here the menus that you see uh, with the product so let's go back to the back end let's go to menus so we want to connect uh, where it says men's shirt let's do that and let's go over to menu item type and again, I want you guys to make sure that you're sharing this, you know, share this with uh, a, a friend, entrepreneur, you know, share it, continue to like, definitely appreciate it. So let's go over now and we're going to finish up and wrap up here. So we want to click, we want to connect the menu to the actual pages. So let's go. The first one is menu item type grid box. Hmm. Do I want to connect the page? Let's go over to products and then we want to connect uh, men's shirt. So we're connecting the men's shirt with that page and let's do the same thing for the women. You just got to click to select the page and we also want to get it connected. The women's jacket, save and close. And for the juices, now we don't get to do that yet, but let's just go to the hats and beanies and we can be able to get that connected as well so let's go to grid box page and let's choose the app products and let's choose the beanies so now we've connected these to those pages so when you go to men this is what you're going to see right so even if you have just one product, because I get so many emails from people saying, Matthew, I don't have a ton of products. I have just one that I want to share. Well, you can just connect to the men's shirt or you can connect to that whole category. You want to go to the women's. We connected that to this one. And then you can do the same thing for the hats. And then. So it's and then you can just link. So you can link this here. Let's go over to let's go over to this page. Let's just say we want to have let's change juices blend. So we're going to change juices blend to shop shop all. And we are going to connect this to the products so let's click save and go now to the front and let's exit because we don't need that anymore let's just X this here oh one thing to us let's link let's link this uh, the logo right here once you link the logo it's going to show up link everywhere so we want to link make sure that logo is linked And let's refresh. And then let's go over to the men's shirt. And you go to shop. So now when you go to shop, you have this here. You can search. You can shop everything about prices, high, low. And then you could even add, you know, different categories here. You can edit this particular page. And you want to add, let's add categories. So product categories are going to show up right there. So we want to click on save. And now when you refresh this here, you can see the ratings and people can actually shop. It shows the number of products in each category. You can add as many as you need to, but this is, you know, your shop all. And if you want to increase the size of the menu, you could also increase the size of it. The size right now is 12. So we can make that, let's say we'll make that a little bit bigger, right? Let's make that like a 20. Is that still too big? We can make that around that size and move that over. So I'm going to change the name of this here. 
we're going to just call this one core just so it can fit there just so you can kind of see how that works so this is what we have now let's refresh it this is the shop page uh, they can come in click on different categories that you offer you can also click edit here to be able to make whatever change that's needed and you can go to your card you can go to checkout and during the checkout page you know you see the option here the option is manual you can add you know stripe you can add paypal you can add different uh ones that you want here and let's go back to the home page so i hope that you know you guys are are just seeing how simple it's been to build a site I hope that you can see how simple it is. Um, and the reason why it's even taking this long because I have to go over and over to explain things. But when I'm building sites, I can build a full e-commerce website in two days, get up and going. So if you've been following along with this, you can see how you can get your store um, up and going. So as I mentioned before, the one of the things we wanna do now too is, let's take a look here at the products, um, accepting payments. For those of you that are just joining now, make sure that you're sharing this link, right? Let's click on close. You want to make sure that you have your merchant account set up. Whether you're using PayPal, whether you're using Stripe, whoever you're using, you have to get that set up with them. Um, and then once you get that set up. So now we want to be able to just create a simple contact form. So your site is like this and you want for people to be able to contact you, right? So I've already So you got to click here and then you have to activate your license. So let me just activate this license. You have to put in your login. Once you put in your login, again, go to balboa.com. You buy the pro version, right? Now my login is in. I can share my screen with you guys. I don't want to get my login. So let's just click here to create a simple form. Just create a contact, a simple contact form. Okay, click on next. So when you click over the integration, Oh, templates. You go to templates, you see contacts. Instead of trying to build everything from scratch, I'm just going to click here. Any one of these simple contact forms. You don't need anything crazy. So once you do that, it's going to upload this contact form for you. And then all that you would have to do now is just to go on the website. And then you would just have to uh, connect. So let's see here. The connection is almost done. Okay. So now... Let me click here to save. Let me reload this here. So now this is the contact form, right? I want to keep it simple, so I'm going to click save and close. So I'm going to go on the front end now, and I want people, when someone click on contact right now, it, it really doesn't take you anywhere you need to go. So when someone clicks on the contact, I want for them to be able to uh, contact you. So we want to fix that. So let's go over now back to let me log in here to the admin um, panel. When I log in, I'm going to go over to the grid box. I go over to the pages and I'm going to click on new. Now, this is where we put in our contact. Contact us, whatever you want to call it, and then click on next. So you're ready to get when you do that, whatever menu default layout you have is going to show. And then you just want to add a plugin, and you're going to um, you want to go to forms, and then you can choose the form that you created, and then click on save, right? So let's go to the front end now, and we want to see how this looks. Let me get rid of some of those screens right there. So let's go to the front end here. And let's see if we did that correctly. Okay, so give it a second to load. So I'm just gonna come in and just delete this right now because we don't need that part. Let's save and so I'm just looking now just to see where the contact form I'm going to click forms, 
contact. Let's click on save. And then we should be able to. Okay, the reason why it's not shown. That's why. Let's go. The reason why you didn't see, you don't see anything when I click on contact is because we have to go back to the menu. Let's go back here to menus and to go to main, go to main menu and where it says contact. Let's click on grid box. Let's go to page and we want to select the pages and we want to make sure that we select the new page we just created. That's why it wasn't shown before. So now you click on contact and boom you have a simple contact page where people can be able to contact you now let's just fix this contact page up just a little okay um, so we're going to add another plugin here we can have this from a header headline and let's have this one contact us and now i can just drag this up and right now let's kind of remove there's too much white space at the very top let's remove the white space let's let's see how zero looks okay that looks better and let's edit this contact here and we want to be able to change the opacity to bring that down some so it's a simple basic contact form if someone wants to contact you for a service if someone wants to contact you for anything Let's click on save and we're going to take a look on the front end. Now this is a contact. So you go to your home page. This is what you start. You know, you create it. You can make some adjustments here again, however you want it to be. And then you have your your products, your new arrivals. You have the special orders. People can click, you know, buy now and let's link these right now. So you're probably wondering how can I link these to the actual product? So let's go to buy now on the home page we're going to link this click there and you want to click on you can link to the file or you can link to add to cart right so let's choose the link picker here we go to grid box we go to products and then you can choose what products that you want this to um to be connected to right so let's say we want it to be connected to the men's shirt or just women's jacket or what whatever so now when someone clicks on that link, let's go back to the home page here. When someone clicks on this link, it's going to redirect them um, to the women's page, right? Or if I didn't want this to go to the women's page, I want them to I wanted that to go to all the products. So I come here and I can choose link picker. I go to menu and I'm gonna choose shop and I click save. Let's do the same thing too for this one right here. So if I wanted to link this particular one, let's say I wanted to link it to the shirt or even add to cart. Let me just choose this link picker right here. Nope. So let's go to grid box, products, men's shirt. So we can do that, we'll link that one right there. And let's do the same thing too. Let's link this one to the grid box, to the products to the beanies and let's click save so now we've just linked this the linking part of it is done right so if you click on buy now it's going to automatically redirect you to this section here where you can be able to purchase this item you can add to cart you can check out now and the reason is because i have i don't have actual um let me come back here let me come back here for a second so so we can do the same thing now for this so the the core of the site has been set up I don't need the contact the core of the site has been already set up again I have this is just for the beginners there to just getting started you want to build a website this is just to show you how to get your site up and going you know, if you've never done it before, I wanted to keep things as simple as possible because websites, they can get complicated. And I get so many times like Matthew, this is so hard, this is too difficult, but I wanted to simplify the process for you. OK, I really wanted to simplify the process for you um, to make sure that you're able to follow along. You're able to kind of get through it. So the core of the site right now, let's go back there. So you can see the core of the site right now. Um, that is pretty much already done. The core of the site is done. So let's go back now. 
and wrap things up here. So people can go on this site once you set up your merchant account and they can actually start to purchase the items that you've set up for them. Okay, so you scroll through here and you can have as many products as you need to. You can have as many products as you need to. If I even wanted to add that contact form on this homepage, let me see, I can even do that. So let's just go and just add the contact form on this homepage. If you wanted for people to be able to contact you, um, just type in form. So I wanna add that contact form on this homepage and I am going to do so. Let me release and adjust, uh, change the width here. So this right now is just too much space. I want to take some of that space off and the space from this one too is just a little bit too much. So I'm just going to adjust the space from this. The bottom is just too much. And then I can make some adjustments here. Let me see. I can even change the background for this part to a color. And I want to make that color. No, that's... Okay, let me come back here. No color. So we're going to change the background for the, the whole section right here instead. So let's do that. You can do that for the forms as well, but I just wanted to show you color. So you do that. You notice now that the color for this is a little bit different. So I'm going to put that right there. And then let's add just another head and just say contact us. So we're heading, adding a head in, get in touch. For some of you, this is all you may just need. You don't need to have like five or six different um, pages. So let's adjust the opacity with this one. Let's go over to the design and we want to adjust the opacity. So it gives like that. And we can change the text size, the font size too, right? We can change the font size for it, get in touch if that's too dim. Uh, let's go back and increase it a little bit more. And let's click on save. So now when you go to the home page and you refresh it, you should be able to have a complete a contact form at the bottom. So people can just contact you directly on the home page. So if you want to have like a one page site, you can do that now. If you wanted to adjust the space, I mentioned this before as we wrap up here. If you wanted to adjust the space, if you notice the space here is, might be too much. So to adjust it, we can do this. Let's just remove the margins that are on there. So the margins 25, let's take that off. The margins 25, let's take that off. Let's take the margins off and we are going to take the margins off for this one two zero zero now when you take that off you can you can go back and you can kind of come through here okay so now this is what you have this is what you have. Your site is ready to start accepting new orders. Your site is ready to start uh, going out there. You can share with people. So for those of you that were able to watch and those that are going to watch this later on, uh, thank you so much for tuning in here. But before I go, people always ask me, you know, do I create websites? Uh, I do, but I'm real selective with the people that I, that I work with. So I do a one-on-one -on -one training. I do a one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, you can go on my website, thematthewtainment.com, as you can see here, and you can book a one-on-one -on -one session. During this session, I go over things about your specific website. When I do my training, I go specific about your site, not a general. When I do training like this, this is a general for people that want to get started and trying to figure out. But we we'll go over your website, the details, you know, our consultation, what you need to do, what plugins, design, look, marketing. It's a whole full scale training to make sure that you're actually going 
in that right direction because with listen building a website it's not just enough just to build a website a lot of times people build websites and their website is lost in cyberspace it's just out there no one can find it you know the problem the challenge is this you can do it on your own but it's going to take you years to, to to even understand what's going on by the time that you understand what's going on, you would have lost so much time. You can never gain back the time you lost. You would have lost, I mean, so much time. You would have lost so much money as well. There are people, I remember God coming one time. He said, Matthew, you know, I heard about your stuff and I wanted to talk to you. And I've invested a lot of money to build an e-commerce site. I said, how much you invested? He said, invested over a million dollars and still made no profit for anything. I was like, wow, give me that million. I'll help you out, you know. So you want to be able to get the right training, and I'm doing this training here for free because I want to show you the possibilities. This is just for beginners. I have I have intermediate training. I have advanced. So if you're an individual or if you're even an agency and you're looking to train your team, whether you have a team of two or a team of five, I can help train your team and give them all the tools that they need to be able to build any type of website. Now, I'm just showing you how to build an e-commerce site but the strategies that i'm going to show you applies to all type of websites whatever you want to be able to build so finally i just want to show you guys we started with a blank theme we started with nothing and we started with just the bare minimum and we have been able to finally complete the site that you can share with people OK, if this is your first time creating a website, you can actually share the site with people and they can purchase your products right now, right this minute. And as you can see, it's very clean. It's very simple. It's very elegant. Uh, let's go over to uh, Balboa again. You want to go to Balboa.com. The extension that I use to build the site is called Gridbox. You want to purchase the bundle. They have a bundle for $87 for the year for one website. You get all the support. You get all the, the tools that's needed. So go there right now. Purchase this. Trust me. It's going to save you so much time. It is going to save you so much money in the long run. If you have any questions, if you like training, you'd like to reach out to me. I would love to work with you on your business. Uh, I would love to just help you figure things out and help you give us some ideas because I can save you so much time. So if you enjoyed this training, make sure you share this link with a friend. Uh, you like, 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 and share. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I'm looking forward to doing more of these and hopefully you've gained something from this. You've learned something from it that you can be able to use and, you know, have a wonderful evening. God bless you.